Hey, this is Brett, and this 2017 Ram 3500 Crew Cab Long Box Dual Rear Wheel Laramie is stock number 13398Z. I am here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used heavy duty truck and Ram headquarters. This 2017 Ram 3500 has the 6.7 liter high output Cummins diesel. It's paired up with the six-speed Ison heavy-duty transmission. This truck has been fully safety and inspected by our service shop, has a fresh oil and filter change. All the fluids have been checked and topped off, and this truck is 100% ready to go. It has a uh, horsepower rating of 385 and 900 foot-pounds of torque. It's capable of towing up to 30,190 pounds and has a max payload of 5,505 pounds. Got those numbers off of Ram's tow guide website. I'll link it in the description below. Like I said, this truck is 100% ready to go. It's been fully safety and inspected. I'm gonna go all the way around in this video, inside, underneath, start it up, and take a look under the hood to give you the most accurate representation of the truck possible. Brilliant black crystal pearls color, and I shoot all my videos in 4K. So if you have HD capabilities, turn them on now because it is your best way to check out the quality, condition, options, and cleanliness of the vehicle before seeing it in person. As you go down the driver's side here, you can see the dually tub is in excellent shape. I didn't see any major dents or dings on there. Doors are in very nice condition as well. Driver's side front fender is in nice shape, and if you like the video, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash summit auto. Click the bell notifications, and you'll get updates on the videos I do each and every day here at Summit Automotive. This one comes with the polished aluminum wheels. It has Goodyear Wrangler all-terrain adventure tires. These are LT235 80 R17s, and they have right around half the tread left on them. Frame and underbody is in really nice shape. This is a one owner, clean title history from Wisconsin. Has the projector lamp headlamps, LED running lights, factory fog lights, front bumper is in fantastic condition. And uh, this truck is also a clean title history, clean Carfax, um, so really nice one owner truck. Chrome trim grill, the hood is in very nice condition. See just how nice and reflective that paint is. Passenger side front fender looks really good as well. And the passenger side wheel, no major scuffs or scrapes on there. Now as you go down this side of this 2017 Ram 3500, take note of how clean that body is and just how reflective and mirror-like that paint is. I take these HD videos, so if you are far away or even if you're close by and you just cannot make the trip down but you're still interested in purchasing the vehicle, you can see the truck, hear the truck, and have confidence in the vehicle that you're looking at before you even get here. So when you do get here, there's absolutely no surprises and you can make a smart and informed buying decision from wherever you're at. If this video helps you make that buying decision, let your salesman know that you saw the video, that it was helpful, and that Brett sent you. Back wheel is in nice shape as well, and the back tires have just as much tread as the front tires, maybe even a hair bit more, more like 50 to 60% of the tread left on those tires. It has all the remaining factory exhaust, so it hasn't been altered in any way, and the underbody is very nice and clean. Lower rockers look good. And the dually tub on this side is in nice shape. You still have that 3M plastic, which helps keep it from getting rock chips and stuff like that. Coming around to the back, rear bumper is in great shape. No dents or dings. Actually, one very, very light ding on the rear bumper there, but can't even see it. Uh, has the backup parking sensors, full towing package, which includes the receiver hitch, four pin and seven pin wiring. And the tailgate is in very nice condition as well. I didn't see any dents on there. Has a Gator soft tonneau cover. That's in really nice shape. I think that's a fold up tonneau. You get a spray and bed liner back here. Turbo liner. Looks really good. And that bed liner goes onto the tailgate. Shuts nice and solidly. And for full disclosure, this back rim about the same condition as the rest. This one does have just a little bit of oxidization by the valve stem, which is pretty common on those polished aluminum wheels. 
Down the rest of the side of the truck, once again, looks really good. It does have the heated fold-up tow mirrors, built-in directional signals. They fold up like so. They also fold in. Pretty sure they're power fold in. Inside, the Laramie package gives you the black leather interior. You get the 40-20-40 split bench seating in the front here. Seats are in really nice shape. You get the Laramie embossed backrest. No rips or tears. Memory driver seat with lumbar, and you do get factory all-weather floor mats. Auto headlamps, power pedals, power windows, locks, and mirrors. And these mirrors do power fold in. I always like showing both sides so that you know that both sides are working properly. Take a quick look at the back seats. Back seats are in excellent shape as well. Latch child safety system for any child car seats you may have. Power sliding rear window with the built-in rear defrost. These seats fold up. There is a load floor here. It's nice if you have muddy boots or tools, put them on there, you're not gonna get your seats dirty. Or if you have pets, put both sides down, they get a nice flat place to lay. And once again, they're not gonna get your seats dirty. Storage under the rear seats, in-floor storage with re removable bins for easy cleaning. You can put ice and drinks in there. It's like you have two mini coolers wherever you go. Or if you're not from Wisconsin, just extra storage space. You do get child safety locks on the back doors and the bottoms of the doors all look very good on this truck. Did want to show you the VIN sticker, as long as I'm standing right here. And then the tire and loading information sticker is right there as well. All right, we'll hop in, check out the miles, the radio, and everything that this truck has to offer on the interior. All right, you can see that this one has 45,973 miles. You do get the digital speedometer compass, outside temp display, range to empty, and the time on there. Instrument cluster is very nice and clean. Comes with the heated leather wrap steering wheel, cruise controls on the right, Bluetooth and information center controls on the left. Like I said, this one has the heavy duty six speed ISIN transmission, the 8.4 3C radio, AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. There's Highway 41, so you can see that is working nicely. And AM, FM, and Sirius, you have your heated seats, heated steering wheel controls right there. You also have your backup cam and your cargo cam. Obviously, a tonneau covers on there. You can't really see what's going on in the bed, but nice having that option. Then you get all your different apps in here. You also have your climate controls, including your dual climate controls. Now, if you don't like using the radio, you can use the more tactile buttons and knobs down here, including volume and tune controls. Turned out four-wheel drive. It does have the factory brake controller, heated and cooled seat buttons, as well as a heated steering wheel button. Stability control, tow haul, factory exhaust brake, and your front and rear parking sensors. You can turn those off and on. It does have a 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in, keyless entry with remote start, and the passenger side floor mat and seat are in excellent condition as well. No rips or tears on there. The headliner is in nice shape. You get those speakers in the ceiling, part of the Alpine premium sound system. You do get map lights, power slide and rear window button, home light buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems, and assist and SOS buttons in the rear view mirror. We'll start it up and take a look under the hood. Starts right up, no check engine lights or anything like that. You do have to uh, put a battery in that key fob which we'll do right after this video, but starts right up. Looks really good. Take a look under the hood. I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today and hopefully from this HD video, you've been able to verify the quality condition options and of course cleanliness of this truck all the way around inside and out. Under the hood, we have the 6.7 liter high output Cummins diesel. Engine bay is very clean, runs very smooth. Once again, this truck has been fully safety and inspected by our service shop. Has a fresh oil and filter change. All the fluids have been checked and topped off, and it is 100% ready to go. There is the emissions sticker. And I would highly recommend this truck from a quality and condition standpoint. I don't think you'll be disappointed in this one. And to see more pictures of this truck or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, half tons, three quarter tons, one tons, you name it, we got it. Go to that website right there, summitauto.com. 
full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. Click the bell notifications to get updates on the videos I do each and every day here at Summit Auto. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more Ram 3500 truck videos like this one in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. We're super excited to help you with this ultra clean 2017 Ram 3500. Through cab, long box, dually, Laramie, and brilliant black crystal pearl. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.